The Earth Network is concerned about a compassionate solution for the oppression of people throughout our planet. We were privileged to be in Madison, Wisconsin for the visit of His Holiness the Dalai Lama of Tibet. He was there to dedicate a Buddhist stupa at the Deer Park Monastery and to perform the initiation of several hundred people as compassionate, enlightened teachers called bodhisattvas. Tenzin Gwatso, the 14th Dalai Lama, is the spiritual leader of millions of Tibetans. His Holiness has been in Dharamsala, India, since fleeing Tibet after the Chinese takeover in 1959. The winner of the 1989 Nobel Prize for Peace, he is a man of vision and compassion who speaks from the heart to all people. <laughs> I really, you see, very happy uh, have this opportunity to talk. Here, I consider myself as another human being. Same, we are same. We are same being who have this human flesh, human blood. And as a result, the inner experience of pains and pleasure and joys are same. On that level, we can, we can communicate very easily. If we think more, see, as a, see, for example, in my own case, as a Buddhist, as a Tibetan, as a Easterner, if we put more emphasis on this secondary factor, then sometimes it makes barrier to come closer one another. And basically the, the humanness or human being, that is the most important. The other, you say, culture, the uh, different, I'd say, the system, these things, secondary thing which supposed to support humanity, uh, gaining knowledge. We must take very, very careful, very hard to say, care. Careful. No. I mean, careful, or I don't know, no, no, I mean, take great care uh, to develop the, how to say, inner spiritual development. I think five billion human beings on this planet, now we become more mature. Through, you see, through difficult experiences. I consider sometimes the suffering and the difficulties, anyway, I mean, very bad, very unfortunate. Difficult is difficult, suffering is suffering, nobody wants. At the same time, uh, you see, if we look at another aspect, then the suffering, a period, period of, how to say, when you passing through difficulties and suffering, that is the best time to gain experiences. Again, when things something, uh, I'd say, uh, I mean, things are very smooth, then sometimes we say our carelessness, motion, mood, I mean, often come. When things become desperate, when things become more sort of dangerous, then you see human reaction become more alert. Then we find, you see, new answer. So I think this century, things become so, you see, uh, complicated and so delicate that help us is to examine one's own, you see, inner world and also deeper, deeper nature. So as a result, now I, the overall picture there are more, you say, more hopeful signs. So these are the reasons uh, which, you see, keeping, how to say, my, how to say, optimism. Never die, always remain, even increasing. So you, uh, you know, you say, there are 
plenty of reasons, you see, to be optimistic. We human beings, our intelligence, our mind is so sophisticated. So we, uh, I say, we found many different kind of you see, ideology or system. So as a result, you see, say, in, in at one time, you see, as, I mean, among the humanity, you see, some people believe, you see, human material development or economy development or human happiness uh, can achieve through, how to say, sheer sort of uh, rigid system, sacrifice individual freedom and rights through such system can achieve some good result. So sometimes, you see, uh, some, I'd say they, some repressive measures, repressive policy, and repressive regimes, I'd say, uh, I mean, came, came to being. Now again, time goes. The repressive, or, I said, too much rigid system that is basically against the human nature. Human love freedom, human love liberty. That is, you see, no force can stop that one. Even animal, poor animal, they loves freedom. Now, for example, you see, Mm. These days, I have one small cat. You see, that cat, mm. although you see, that cat, very unusually, very gentle, very, very gentle. So you see, everybody, everyone, you see, very fond, that cat. So you see, feeding, I mean, we, we feed well, and always we, I'll say, making this, what I call, pet, pet. Uh. And one thing, you see, if the cat go outside my room, then you see very often some dirty things bring. So therefore, I always prefer to keep in my room, in building. So you see, despite all the, how to say, the friendly atmosphere, my poor cat, whenever opportunity to run away, <laughs> uh, the cat always run, <laughs> go outside and bring some dirty things. <laughs> so that means, uh, so that means even that small animal loves freedom, individual freedom, isn't it? So we human beings, we have such, you see, I mean, we have two eyes, we have two ears. And here, you see, very big machines which can calculate all, you see, factors. And how can, you see, how can stop that function? Impossible. So therefore, the you now time goes, the basic human spirit, the individual freedom, democracy, you see, these things naturally, how to say, overcome the other, you see, human evil forces. Not through killing, not through war, but through the time goes, some kind of, you see, evolution, now you see, uh, it's taking place. Very wonderful. Then, I think in this respect, Gorbachev, of course, no doubt, I think, made greatest contribution. Then, then another is a factor, the ecology. In early part of century, even middle of this century, I think people generally, you see, simply, you see, concerned about how to utilize, I mean, how to, how to say, how to utilize, uh, how to take, how much, oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, people's interest only, you see, taking, 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 mm. consume oneself. Mm. Now, today, again, you see, human, I think, awareness uh, reach much harder, say, as a deeper awareness about reality. So now, not only is individual people now concerning 
environment, but even some you see, political parties now established on the basis of that kind of see, ideology. That also is a very, I think, very positive development. It's a world, usually I call mother planet. Essentially, we human beings, because of the planet's you see, uh, condition, you see, change, then we human beings came to exist, came to being. But now today, the scientific research or scientific knowledge is mean, so deep. So you see, uh, such as, you see, say, you see, what say, the neurology, and also the cosmology, and subatomic the particles, you see, when people, you see, talk in this field, uh, then, you see, there is uh, some kind of, how to say, the, I think, uh, involvement. Uh, involvement. Involvement, yes. <laughs> involvement about, you see, human, uh, the, I think the involvement about no sight or human mind. So, in any way, you see, the science and human spiritual, again, it seems uh, somehow it's come closer. As a human nature, you see, the human community as a social animal, we have to live together in order to sustain or in order to survive humanity, in order to develop human future. So we need genuine cooperation. So like the world as a whole, the things, not one single thing cannot, uh, uh, cannot grow or cannot sustain independently. Everything interrelated. Therefore, you see, cooperation is the essential. How to have genuine cooperation? Now, modern economic structure, not only nation to nation, but continent to continent, heavily related to one another. So therefore, you see, the reality, modern economies and many, I think many reality now, how to say, uh, how to say? Uh, Indicate. What to say? Indicate. Oh, indicated or, I mean the reality itself, you see, need cooperation and genuine compassion and love. Uh, I mean, here, whether you see rich or poor or educated or uneducated, not much matter. So long human heart is there, human brain is there, we can, we can practice. We, everyone, everyone want happiness, do not want suffering. And the ultimate, ultimate house is decision, decision maker, happiness and pains, not outside, not matters, even not doctors, but ourselves. Our own mental attitude adopt a certain, how to say, if we um, ourselves have certain mental attitude, then even, you see, remain, uh, I mean, even that person surrounded by hostile, the external things, external forces, very little to disturb the inner peace. The contrary, if you have no inner peace, then even you surrounded by best friends and the best facility, you may not feel happy. So therefore, I always see, uh, telling people, if we are uh, too selfish, then be a wise selfish, rather than foolish selfish. Isn't it? You see, in deep down, thinking oneself. But in order to gain more to oneself, help other people. Pope, and also the, the other you see, different religious leaders, I think quite a number of occasions, you see, I have opportunities to meet these people, and then I get impression that everyone, most of them, you see, sincerely you see, trying to achieve closer relation between various different religions. Current situation of Tibet, now you know, of course, the last 40 years is our experiences. 
It's a very sad experiences. Of course, you see, nobody deny, can deny the last 40 years, some development, some positive development, new roads, you see, more, how to say, the hospitals and education uh, institutions. But then, you see, compare the negative side, human suffering, uh, the cost of this development. You see, we cannot compare. More than one million Tibetan died. More than 6,000 monasteries and temples I mean, disappeared. So in any way, the darkest period. I can say it's 95% Tibetan. All, you see, do not want to remain under Chinese domination. So they express. I say, they are, I mean, express of their deep sorrow. The reality is that Tibet, you see, historically and geographically, culturally, linguistically, is racially and separate from China. And that is true. Not only proper education, but proper mental development is very essential, I believe. You see, with, uh, usually I call the human intelligence brain, as say, how to say, the human intelligence and the human heart as a uh, spirit or the spiritual. Here, spiritual means not necessarily some particular religion or faith, but simply as the Chancellor mentioned. So I always just consider the some the love and compassion, altruism. This is the something like a universal religion. That's important. And various religion essentially, you see, teach us, uh, help us to develop, you see, these qualifications. Qualities. I'll say these. Qualities. These qualities. These qualities. So the uh, most important thing is the compassion, good heart. Warm heart. Because, you see, if we are lacking something here, then our human intelligence may use, I mean, not very sure whether human intelligence can be a destructive, uh, how to say, cause? Force. Huh? Force. Destructive force or constructive force. No guarantee. So therefore, the good heart is something very essential. Education as a, another instrument to solve human problem, is to serve humanity. Now, that instrument must utilize uh, with a sincere motivation. Then that education can bring us good result. Otherwise, you see, human intelligence may bring us disaster. So you see, the uh, compassion, the, in the true sense, compassion not simply feeling of pity, not that way. Here you see, true compassion is, you see, uh, really concerned the other people's suffering. So there is sense of responsibility. So that really gives us inner strength. And with that tolerance, patience, and forgiveness, these come. So therefore, usually so some people read the tolerance and patience, these things, signs of weakness. This is wrong. We should look these things as a sign of inner strength. Through our own experience, you see, we can judge. When we meet someone, argue, then when they no more reasons, no more justification about one's own, you see, how to say, point, then we get angry as a supplementary way. No more reason. You see, no more logical force to prove, then anger comes. 
So that means, you see, uh, I say, uh, uh, I say the, in the field of reason and logics, you fail. So anger comes. So this is the sign of weakness. If you have your self-confidence and reasons and logic to prove, you see, that point, then no need to, to come anger. So therefore, you see, the anger is signs of weakness. The tolerance and patience are signs of strength. If someone shows me smile, genuine smile, I feel very happy. If someone, you see, come, I mean, someone, you see, looks at me, something, you see, very negative face, I feel sorry. I'm not at all happy. So therefore, if we really, you see, love smile and love friends, first, we ourselves must create the possibility of genuine friends and genuine smile. We ourselves remain as a very angry person, very negative attitude, negative motivated person. And how can, how can come other people as a friend? Some friends, unfortunately, in the, in the real sense, not friend of two, I mean, not friend of the, the person, but a friend, but friend of wealth or friend of power. The indication is quite clear. When our fortune goes this way, there are many friends. Mm. Even you don't want to come. They are forced to come. Well, mm, uh, when the, our fortune goes decline, then there is very difficult to find the traces of these, these friends. Even you want to telephone, you may not get answer. Even you get some answer, very short answer. <laughs> Why? The other people, they consider that a person is worthless. Still the same human being. In fact, the fortune declining. That is the really time need friends. And where gone these friends? Isn't it? So therefore, you see, the true friends must come on the basis of one's own mental, how to say, positive attitude. They take, I mean, take uh, close look matters. And within those matters, this is something which benefit for a human being, we take. And something not a benefit, we simply, how to say, discard. And discard it. So through that way, the material development happens. So same way, the human, you see, inner world, we, it is worthwhile to take more careful look in a world and make some experiment. In this case, we, 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 do, not, we do not need big laboratory, but laboratory is here, quite simple. Although you see small size, but we have huge human brain, how to say, computer here. So the external computer, even I think you see big size, I think this big size, I think computer, I think cannot match the human computer here. Now today, you see more people, you see, really you see thinking or trying to uh, to avoid war. And I think very few, I think almost none, you see, who, how say, who, can, who can face the nuclear danger or threat. So through nuclear war, you see, this is not a question of a winner and a loser, but this is something mutual destruction. So in any case, now today, I think the force of, well, force for peace is much, much stronger. Especially, I think, you see, generally speaking, you see, among the younger peoples, you see, mind, the genuine sort of tendency, or you see, uh, desire for peace. That's something, I think, very positive development. Now here, 
with the human compassion, human love. This is the key thing. If one self practice compassion, love, then forgiveness also automatically come. We human beings, the present generation of human beings, have the responsibility to shape the future humanity and to give proper education for our younger generation, uh, to, uh, to show them good example of human beings. Not murder or all these you see, negative things should not make example to them, but we must demonstrate it the value of good human quality. Not only in classroom, in education, in school or university, but even in family. So we must create proper atmosphere to grow healthy development of children's mind. So we, every human being, about, um, about future world, we, every human being, have responsibility. So let us try is it to, is it to build better human society, happier and, and friendly uh, is it, human society. So that's everyone's task. So thank you very much. That's all. This is the first in a series of programs about Tibet and its people. For further information about the Dalai Lama and Tibet, you may write to the Office of Tibet, 107 East 31st Street, New York, New York, 10016. Yeah.